Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I am showing how I planned out our entire homeschool year. I decided to make the switch this year to using an online planner and it has just changed everything for me and has made my life so much easier. I just filmed an Amazon haul video so I feel like there's like some random things behind me but if you're interested in an Amazon haul that video is coming soon as well. But anyways, um, we are getting into our homeschool year. We decided to start a little bit earlier. My kids are done with camp. They've had a couple weeks off and they're like, let's get back into school. Well, not all of them are as excited as some, but they're they're excited. They need something to do. So at the end of our last school year, I started, I, I heard about this company called Homeschool Planet. Um, full disclosure, this video is not sponsored. I heard about them, signed up on my own, and have been really trying it out for the last few months. And I really just love the planner and it really works for me. So I've been testing it out. Um, I actually got to meet with somebody from Homeschool Planet and she was able to answer some questions for me walk me through it and it's just an amazing company it's a company full of homeschool parents that have graduated uh homeschool kids and so really made me just be like this product makes sense they know what they're doing in this system so homeschool planet is an online planner but it's so much more than that it's uh, reporting attendance grades transcripts it's not just your homeschool schedule. I mean, you can schedule your entire life in this thing. You can access it on mobile devices, iPads, your computer. And for people like me who still need a printed out weekly schedule, you can still print it out. And so that was like the highest point for me. I'm like, if I can print this out, we're going to be just fine because I need... I don't want to have my phone up when I'm sitting at the homeschool table with my kids. I want to just have like a printed checklist that we can go through. So it has really checked all the boxes for me. There is a monthly fee, but to be honest, the amount of time I now save weekly, um, it completely pays for itself. So you can either pay monthly, and I want to say the monthly price is like $7.95, or if you pay for your whole year like up front, you get it discounted and it's like $4.95 a month so honestly like that's one starbucks drink a month that you would have to give up in exchange for this or one amazon purchase not even i don't really know anything you can buy for four dollars on amazon so there's my like justification like yes it does at first i even made the comment like i don't really want to pay monthly for a planner but the amount of time it saves me is just amazing. Now, another thing too, you all know me, I change things constantly. I change curriculum, I change our plans. I, I don't have a set schedule. Like I don't know really what weeks we're taking off and not. And so I also at first was like, how, there's no way I can plan out our entire school year. Well, the way that the system works, and I do, I'm gonna sh walk you through the system uh, later on in this video. I just kind of want to talk before I do all that. You do set it up for the whole year. Um, if you want right to just kind of get it all out like I did that so I can kind of judge like start dates end dates you know week breaks things like that but everything is fully customizable so even like our first week of school I decided to add some stuff in or I decided to move some stuff around I mean it's so easy to like move an assignment to another day or complete an assignment early it's very like adaptive and so if you skip an assignment it will like be like hey do you want to move this to the next day and adjust the rest of your entire year? Do you just want to move this day? Like it's really customizable in all of those aspects. So don't be afraid to plan out your whole homeschool year because it's it's very editable and customizable um, because that's how I flow. Like I need things to be fluid and adjust as we do as well in our homeschool days. There is, they do offer um, a free one month trial. So I highly recommend at least signing up for the free trial. You get access to everything in that free trial. So you can at least get it set up and help you plan out and like navigate all this curriculum you've bought, all your ideas, get it out there. What are your school dates gonna be? Uh, do you need attendance records, grade records, things like that? So um, take advantage of the free one month trial. I do have a link down below that you can use to access that. And right now, if you sign up for the free one month trial, they also give you something called a free lesson plan. Homeschool Planet works with so many different curriculum companies, BJU, IEW, 
Apologia. They work with these curriculum companies to develop specific lesson plans for curriculum. So our Saxon math, they have a lesson plan. So when your curriculum has like, not complicated, but like more than just lesson one, two, three, like Saxon has lessons, they have investigations, they have tests, and they're all in like a crazy order. I could go in and manually do all those things and there is some like intuitive kind of like data with the system that you can it makes it a little bit easier but these lesson plans are directly from the curriculum companies and so you get one free lesson plan so really think about it right so like what i chose for my free lesson plan when i first signed up was our apology of science because both of my daughters are using it and i had never used it before so i didn't really know how to schedule it out there's lots of like activities and things that go with it so that's what i chose i chose our apology of earth science as a free lesson plan and so when you do that and you import it in it just everything is planned out for you it's so amazing and then on that note they have a marketplace with all the lesson plans so you get one for free and then you can purchase additional and I'll show you guys that in the video as well so I'm gonna switch the camera around we're gonna walk through our schedule I hope you guys enjoy this video use that free trial down below all and right guys so I wanted to show you in my homeschool planet planner I want to show you kind of how I set it up and then I have a few more things to set it up so Homeschool Planet is an online planner that I discovered right as our last homeschool year was ending and I fell in love with it. Like it kind of, I didn't want to like it because it's an online planner and you have to pay for it monthly, but it really is amazing and it really has taken my weekly planning to another level where I really don't have to do it anymore. So obviously there's a daily planner for your kids, their homeschool activities, curriculum, um, but then also it can be used for just a day-to-day -day calendar. If you want to schedule appointments, if you want to schedule activities for your kids, really it, you can make this your family calendar. So there's tons of videos from Homeschool Planet's website that I'll link down below if you want to learn more about it. I'm just going to show you how we are using it. So right now we're looking at our weekly schedule. We are just now starting our first week of homeschool. And so I do have some stuff pre put in here. We are doing a soft start. So that means our first week we're not using all of our curriculum. We're gradually getting back into everything. And so we have our math and our language arts that we're working on right now. Our math is Saxon, and so you can see I have both my daughter's math. So one of my daughters is doing six, five, the other is doing three. So you can see those scheduled out for the week and then their language arts. As we move on to next week, I have already worked on putting in our science that we're gonna start next year. They're both doing science together. They're using Apology in. So this is another thing I like where if you have kids that do some subjects together and others separate, you can break it down in this with no issues. I also set up our school year. So when you set this up, you can create your own school years and you can have multiple school years. So if you're in a state where you need to keep lots of records, then you're really going to like this option. So I set up our current school year into four quarters, our first day of school, all the different quarters we have and what are school days. And then down here, you can go week by week and edit. And so um, right now we're not doing school on Mondays and Fridays. One, because we're doing a soft start. Two, because our co-op is not in session. And so I have those X'd out. So those don't count as a school day at all. If I wanted to count them, I would just click on it and update it. I also um, have pre-planned some vacations. So like the week of Thanksgiving, uh, the week of Christmas and New Year's I blocked off and it does um, take account of those. So this is dynamic. It changes every time you make an edit. Because I already have curriculum planned out as well as if I start um, changing dates, then it's going to um, adjust the schedule for me as I would like it to. So it's very dynamic. It's very adaptable. So don't get scared that you are planning out too far in advance because it's completely editable. You're not stuck to anything. It's not going to cause um, a headache. You can also do things um, like different subjects if you want to add certain subjects. Again, all of these really customized things are more for 
if you really need like records for your state, we don't have anything. So I just kind of use a lot of the standard things that they have. Um, this is fun. You can change like the color of your planner to make it look a little bit nicer and something that would you, you would like. Regardless, I have already set up our uh, schedule so you can see that on Monday it said it was our first day of school, but also no school because that's just how I have my schedule planned out. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday says no school as well. Um, for Tuesday, you can see I already have some check boxed off because we completed all of these assignments. And so that will mark them as done. Now say we didn't do something, when we log in tomorrow, it will ask us if we did complete the assignment or if we did not, if I wanna move it to today and adjust the schedule. So don't feel like if you don't get to something, you're wasting the schedule, you're not. It's really adaptable and easy. I wanted to pop over to Homeschool Planet's website because they're gonna do a much better job showing you everything that they have because there's so much. So. Obviously right here, this is the overall schedule. You can use this for home, school, work. You can do classes, assignments, chores, field trips, sport practice, doctor appointment, whatever you want. You can even import your like iPhone calendars and things like that. So if you have like a sports calendar that your team shares with you, you can actually upload it into this. Now this calendar you can access on your phone, on an iPad, on the computer. Um, so you can have your calendar whenever you need it. I haven't showed you yet adding assignments, but it's super quick and easily and super customizable depending on you know what curriculum you're using and how you wanna plan it out. I did show you the calendar. Um, this helps if you need to track attendance, how many school days. You can also print it out. I think I forgot to show you guys the print button. Um, you can do grading in here and then that will also feed into, I wanna say like a grade report and transcripts. Um, this is the automatic rescheduling, and so if you miss assignments, it's going to say, do you want to reschedule them and move, or do you just want to take a day's off? Like, it asks you exactly how to customize it. You can print the weekly checklist, and so this is my favorite part because you guys know I have to have a weekly printed checklist, and that's my favorite thing. That's the only reason I have used this. Um, because I need that printed weekly checklist. And so that is one of my favorite things. You can also print it per child. So if you're looking for your kids to be a little bit more independent, you can just select their name and print only their to-do list. So you can put their chores on there, all their assignments. There's also extra things like shopping list, uh, to-do list, and um, you can email these out. I did meet with Homeschool Planet and they were saying the text messaging option where you could text the shopping list. Um, they're having issues with the texting. There's some things going on with it right now. So I don't know if that's fully working, but when it does work, you can just text this to a kid, your spouse, and have them have that list or to-do list as well. There's tons of tracking and reporting. So like I said, there's grade reports, attendance, transcripts, GPAs. Um, so if you need those reports, this is all in there for you. There's extra little fun widgets like daily quotes, Bible verses, uh, weather. So you can really customize this to make this like your home landing page every day. Now something new is a lesson marketplace. And so if you saw in my schedule, our Saxon math and our science and IEW, see how perfectly all the lessons are typed out, all the little to do's. I would love to take credit for that, but I did not do that. I purchased um, the Saxon, the IEW, the Apologia lesson plans. So Homeschool Planet works with these curriculum companies to generate lesson plans um, for parents. So when you buy a lesson plan, you upload it and you own it, it's yours, and then you can just pick from the list and add it right in. You still have the option to customize it, but it makes it so much easier. And so they have tons of different um, curriculum companies that they work with and so um, yes there's a little bit of splurge because you do have to pay some extra money for those things. I find it 
well worth it um, because again it has really saved me a lot of time and sometimes time for me um, is uh, more valuable than spending the money on certain things. So here's just a glimpse of some of the curriculum they have. Depending on the curriculum, you'll purchase just like a specific age level, grade level. If you use a curriculum for like 10 different grades, you can buy a bundle of something. So let's take an example. Here's IEW Fix-It Grammar. So we know that IEW Fix-It Grammar has tons of different um, levels of it, right? So down here it says you can buy all of the le the levels. This is a bundle. So for grades 3 through 12, you would get levels 1 through 6 for $27. So this is always going to be your most cost-effective way. So if you know you're going to be using Fix-It Grammar for your entire schooling and for multiple kids, this is the option you want to do, then you own all of them. If they make updates in the future, you get all future updates. If you're only trying it out for the first year and you're not really sure, then you can just buy one level at a time. So one level, here it is, uh, Fix-It Grammar at level one. It kind of shows you too what it looks like so you know what you're purchasing. And then up here, here's a little image of what it would look like. So Fix-It Grammar, it's going to tell you what pages to do, day one. So this really kind of just is like the teacher guides and breaks it out for you so you can put it in your schedule. Now not every curriculum um, company works with homeschool planning even though they're adding new ones every day. So you do have to sometimes add in or if you don't want to spend the extra money, totally understandable, you can do it yourself. So we're going to come here and we're going to add a class but I actually want it to be on Thursdays. So we're going to do a class, we're going to choose history. I'm going to do American history, and this is something I need to do anyways. We're kind of making up our own American history unit study with multiple things, and so I need to manually do this. It's going to be for Emma and Mila. We're starting it on July 20th until the end of the school year, no time. And so down here it's saying, okay, these are all the school days that we have here, okay? Um, I can add like a specific phrase to all assignments. So I can say read chapter one, but I want it to change. Um, I want it to count. So then, so the first lesson is one, then the second lesson would be two. Okay, so I think I'm doing this right. Normally when you first sign up, it like has pop-ups and it tells you, oh, okay, let's see if that works. My assignments follow a reoccurring pattern, maybe, no, let's try this. I think that those little things that I did are supposed to make it count. Okay, add them. Okay, so see what it did? So I typed in read chapter one, but then it knew to count them out after everything, okay? And then it has like vacation days in there and it just does that. Now we don't have 27 chapters of um, our history curriculum, so I'm not gonna save this. I need to figure out what we're doing before I do this, but as you can see, it's that simple to do something like that. Now you can add um, notes to the assignments, so um, write journal, entry reflecting chapter. So I can add this to like a note. So after we read, it's gonna tell them to read chapter one and then as a little note, it's gonna tell them to write a journal entry. Um, you can also, like let's go here, let's add a website, a document. So we could say we wanna have them watch a video too. We can add a website and tell them what to do on this. So really customizable um, that you can get in and get crazy here. There's grading, there's hours, whatever you wanna do. So this full customization is available and it doesn't cost anything extra. But if you want the pre built lesson plans for the curriculum you're using, then you want to purchase those through the marketplace. All right, so I just want to kind of show you again that I've planned out 
basically my whole year, I need to come in here and add a couple more curriculums that we don't, um, that I haven't added yet. But if I change this to months, so I'm looking at all of August right now. The reason I really like this is because it gives me a good judge of like when we're gonna finish our school year. So I'm just going month by month. I can see days we don't have school, weeks we are taking off. I can plan weeks and then I can really see like when we should be wrapping up curriculum and that really helps if you're planning if you don't want to wrap up things too early so you can see let me go back to March our apology of science only is scheduled through February so yeah it looks like we're ending our um, science curriculum mid-February and that's with a, like three breaks already in the week so that kind of tells me okay after that I can add in some more science units or whatever the case may be so this really helps planning out extracurriculum other things I want to say our math is the same way we end up finishing math in like April um, at least I know one of my daughters does the other one is finishing up soon after um, yeah, both of them will be done technically with math um, around May. So that gives me better ideas for breaks, unit studies, and if they're finishing too early, I may need to prepare and plan to buy next year's curriculum. What I'm going to be working on today um, is just I'm going to come in here and add in the rest of our curriculum. I have handwriting that I need to put in here. I'm trying to think what other like scheduled curriculum I have. Um, I haven't fully figured out how I'm going to do history. That's because I'm making up my own history, which I'll be honest, <laughs> I'm kind of regretting it. It would be so nice if I could just plug in a pre-made schedule of history. So that's my own fault. Um, so I'm working through that. And I'm in, once I get the rest of the stuff added in here, um, like you can see, I added in our reading unit study. We're reading the book Matilda. So I just kind of put a very simple what chapters we need to read. I can change this to a planner style. This is how I prefer to print it out. Um, so I can have more of a checklist and it prints better than like the calendar look. And then I just go up here and do color print or you could do black and white, whatever you choose. And then I have my little paper that I'll print out and have this week for my teacher's guide. So I'm going to work on planning out some more. If you guys want to see more about Homeschool Planet, um, leave some comments down below. Don't forget I have that free one month trial, no obligation, sign up, see, test it out, see how you like it. You get a free lesson plan with it, see how your school year is adding up. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Have a great day.